Hi guys, so welcome to my post once again. This is yours truly Christine with Exhibit Africa Inc. I'm back to share some more fun facts about another beautiful country from the continent of Africa. And today the country we're gonna be learning about is Benin. So let's get comfortable, let's go. Okay, so some background information about Benin. So Benin is an, uh, a narrow north uh, south strip of land in West Africa, uh, which is bounded by Togo in the west, Burkina Faso, and Niger to the north, Nigeria to the east, and uh, uh, Bright of Benin to the south. Okay, so that's our background information about Benin. It's uh, in West Africa. So let's drive in. Uh, let's dive it into some of the uh, fun facts about Benin. Now, Benin is referred to as the Republic of Benin. Uh, the capital city is uh, Port Novo. Uh, the population is uh, about uh, twelve million eight hundred sixty-four and uh, six hundred thirty-four uh, people. Uh, the area is uh, one one thousand one hundred twenty two and sixty two square kilometers. The languages in uh, uh, in Benin are French, Fon, and Yoruba. And uh, yes, let's get into uh, some more details about Benin. Okay, so number one, uh, Benin was formerly known as Dahomey a powerful kingdom in West Africa that flourished during the 18th and 19th century. Uh, Dahomey means uh, on the belly of Dan. On the belly of Dan. Uh, Dan was a rival king on whose grave Dahomey's royal compound was built. Wow. Okay. Next, Benin's south coast used to be known as the slave coast. Um, a departure point for slaves where for over 100 years um, an average of 10,000 slaves a year were shipped to the Americans. Sad history, huh? Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, the route of slaves in uh, Quida is a road leading to the original slave auction plaza down to the beach where over 12 million slaves were deported. Okay, uh, fun fact number five. Uh, the root includes the tree of forgiveness where slaves were branded and forced to walk around the tree in circles. Uh, the tree of return where, where slaves frequently circled uh, with the belief that their souls would return home after their death and the gate of no return. All this is uh, located in Benin. Okay, uh, next, uh, the Voodoo religion originated in Benin, where the National Voodoo Day is celebrated annually on the 10th of January. Okay, next uh, fun fact, followers of Voodoo uh, account for 11% of Benin's population, according to figures uh, in 2013. All right, uh, Next, uh, the French be uh, the French became the colonial power in Dahomey towards the end of the 19th century. Uh, in 1946, Dahomey became an overseas territory of France, and then in 1958, it bec it became a self governing with the French uh, commun within the French community. Okay. Uh, moving on, in 1960, Dahomey achieved complete independence. Uh, then in 1975, the country changed its name to the Republic of Benin. Okay, moving on to another fun fact. The current name uh, Benin uh, derives from the uh, uh, de derives from Bight of Benin, a bear lying off Africa's west coast within the Gulf of Guinea in the Atlantic Ocean. There is also a Benin City and Benin River in Nigeria, and you know what? Sometimes I actually uh, confuse the two. Um, when when Nigerians talk about Benin, I think about Benin, which was the former Dahomey, but there's two different Benins. So there's Benin City and uh, Benin River in Niger, in Nigeria. Okay, moving on. 
in the in the early 90s benin made history by becoming the first african country to transit from a dictatorship to democracy and one of the first african countries to hold multi-party elections that's good uh, benin also uh, along along with Burkina Faso and Niger, is home to the largest intact ecosystem in West Africa, the P P Pendari National Park. Uh, the UNESCO-listed park also harbors the only viable population of lions in the region. Wow, that's good. Because I never, I never really knew that there were lions in West Africa, but uh, this is a new one for me. Okay, moving on. Benin only has uh, one UNESCO site located solely in Benin, the Royal Palaces of Abon Abomey. Uh, built during the Kingdom of Dahomey from the 17th century, the site consists of a set of 10 palaces. Moving on, with a medium age, with a medium age of 17 years old, Benin has the 10th youngest population in the world almost 65 percent of the population is under the age of 25. wow benin has a simple flag with horizontal stripes of yellow and red and a vertical green uh, the yellow and green reflects the uh, savannas of north and the palm groves of the south while the red references the blood of, ans of ancestors who defended the homeland okay moving on um uh, Although Port Nova is the capital city, the government sits in uh, uh, Cotno, the country's largest city, uh, economic capital, uh, economic capital, the country's only seaport and international airport. Moving on, Cotno means the river of death in the native phone language and Port Novo means new port in Portuguese. Uh, next, snakes are uh, revealed in Benin and it's considered a sign of good fortune if a snake crosses one's path. That's interesting. Uh, Benin is home to the Temple of uh, Pythons, a sacred shrine uh, inspired by the legends of King uh, K K K Kipase that, that, that's home to dozens of royal pythons that move freely within uh, the temple grounds. Oh man, I don't do very well with snakes, so I don't know how my visit to Benin would be. But that's uh, good to know. Uh, the village of Gamvi, located on Lake uh, Nukau in Benin, has been dubbed the Venice of Africa, uh, as it was built uh, entirely on uh, silts. Wow, uh, good to know. And uh, lastly, uh, Angela Kijo, uh, the Grammy-winning musician, is from Benin. Kijo was also awarded Amnesty International's Top Humanitarian Awards right in 2016 for her activism work. Uh, she's actually one of uh, my favorite artists. All right, guys, that was it. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching uh, the fun facts. I brought um, uh, credits go to um, uh, credits go to um let's see our credits go to uh, facts international i believe so bear with me here for a moment i gotta i gotta give credit so uh our credit goes to the facts i beg your pardon to the facts institute uh read to you by uh, yours truly christine uh, with exhibit africa inc please stay tuned for another fun facts from a diff uh, another beautiful continent from the uh uh, another beautiful country from the planet of uh, another beautiful country from the uh, continent of Africa. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.